Hello guys, this is Alpha Bolt here, your host. And today, in this video, I'll be showing you how to use the Lava Lunar strategy and three star any type of base. We'll be talking about all the aspects related to the strategy, and I bet that after seeing the full video, your skills will get improved. So, I'll be using my TH12 account, Tony, in this video and in all my upcoming videos. So, don't forget to subscribe my channel and also click on the bell icon so you won't be missing any upcoming videos. So, without any further ado, let's begin. So guys, today we are going to talk about the Lava Lunar strategy. So this strategy, the Lava Lunar strategy is one of the best strategy in COC and one of the toughest to handle. So as it is so uh, tough to handle, uh, everyone just ignore it and stop using this strategy because they say that they fail in every match. This is because they don't know how to use it because there's a very a tactical movement and you have to be very patient. You have to be very patient. There should be a lots of patience in this strategy. So in this video, we will be talking about how to use this Lava Lunar strategy and how to deploy the troops, how and where and how and where you should put your spells. So... Uh, we'll be talking about everything and every aspects of this lava lunar strategy so we'll be first uh, getting started with the count we'll be starting with the counting ratio of the troops okay here you can see i have here 32 uh, uh, loons 32 balloons and two lava hounds five minions and one electro dragon okay the i have here four types of troops and a, each one of these troops are very important you cannot reduce any one of them as they have a very big important role in the impact or the effect on your attacking so i'll be discussing every each one and discussing the purpose of every and each one of them so first we'll be talking about the counting okay if you are a max town at 12 uh, you can uh, go with uh, uh, some of 36 balloons and uh, five minions and two lava hounds and a dragon or an electro dragon okay if you are town at 12 here i have only 32 as my uh, army camps are not maxed up and the other thing is the if you are of a town hall you know uh, 10 or you have a town hall 10 or you are um, below that you could use uh, balloons to uh, lava hounds five minutes and any one of the dragon family so if you're turn 10 you cannot use electro dragon so you can use your a dragon or a baby dragon so i'll be talking about the purpose of this uh, 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 each one of these troops so first one we can say that uh, the electro dragon or the dragon so First thing is the electro dragons. So the job of these electro dragons is to clear off the main buildings like the townhouse or the gold storage, elix elixir storage or the dark elixir storage. So the storage and other buildings like barracks or the laboratory etc. So that's the purpose of the uh, dragon or the electro dragon. Or you can also use them to clear off the clan castle troops of your attacking base. And so the next is the five minions okay the minions uh, can be used to uh, you know uh, destroy the far away bases right at the edges of the base or at the corners so they are far away so we could use the minions to destroy those buildings and the uh, lava hounds and the bellows they have the main uh, role in the uh, offense so uh, the lava hounds they are used to distract uh, the air defenses 
or other defenses attacking the air troops and to prevent them from attacking the balloons so that is the purpose of the lava and the other one is balloon and the purpose of the balloon is the main one it is used to destroy the defenses in the base uh, and that is a very big impact on the offense so it will destroy the uh, defenses in the base while the lava hounds distract or prevent the air defenses and the other defenses from attacking the la uh, balloons okay that's the job of the balloon so each one of these troops are very important and if one of these troops are absent in your attacking that will cause a very different result of your offense so that's the thing and the next thing we can talk about is spells okay uh, here i have four spells one freeze and two uh, haste okay i will talk about the uh, the importance of the freeze spell uh, you can if you are attacking a town hall 12 base or 11 base you could use the free spell to uh, freeze out the eagle artillery or the inferno tower or the town hall if it is a town hall 12 uh, town hall you know that it can attack with the uh, giga tesla and so that's a way that causes a very big damage so you could use to freeze away the town hall so that's the use of the free spell so and the, you know the uh, attacking strategies of the hay spells and the rage spells so they could be used up to um, speed up the your balloons and so you could have a great impact on your base it, it can be of any base on 11 or 12 everyone is the same so uh, you the first thing you have to be your uh, spells have to be maxed up so you could uh, have a great result and uh, also you can up, f first upgrade your balloon and then you could up, uh, upgrade your lava house and then your dragons and the minions so that is the counter ratio of your army so the, that's the first thing and now i will show you the demonstration of how to deploy these troops and how where and how you can put your spells so i'll be showing you replays instead of live attack so because i cannot assure you that uh, there will we could get a suitable base to attack so i'll be uh, showing you uh, my copies of the um, copies of the previous attack so i could uh, tell you one by one so we will not miss anything so yeah, before guys, going to the replays let's talk about the major threats faced by the lava loony strategy okay the first one is the eagle artillery as we know that eagle artillery has great damage so it could easily take out multiple balloons and multiple lava hounds easily next one is the archer queen and the archer queen uh, can easily take out air troops and also the balloons cannot attack her so it has it is also a major problem and the next one is the inferno tower as it, it, it is a multiple targeted so it can easily take out multiple loons and the single one has the great damage so it could easily take out the lava house so these are the major threats faced by the lava loonian army so keeping this all in the mind let's go to the replays so here in the you can see that i have a 99 percent replay so that i lost with one person it was a town hall 11 base i just lost with because of the time run out easily so let's go to that replay okay i was so lucky that this town hall 11 base does not had the eagle artillery so i uh, had scored so much 99 percent so here you can see i have attacked from the side opposite where the archer queen is situated so uh, my uh, i could prevent my loons from being crashed by this uh, archer queen so uh, you have to deploy your balloons in a line so you could uh, uh, cover the whole part of the side where you are from attacking and after you have uh, deployed your balloons then you have to deploy your lava hounds okay you have to do it quickly as possible because uh, if you are late deploying your lava hounds your uh, balloons will get die off easily so you have to deploy it very fast so if we have deployed our lava hounds and you can see i have put my race spells two race spells here so they will speed up now and i will get a great damage and so you can see my lava hounds are still alive and so and now the archer queen has started its competition and you can see that i put a free spell on her i will show you uh, that next time okay now my you can see the lava hounds are out and now there are only few balloons in the base 
okay my balloons will i think that it will take it will be it will die off very soon okay the archer queen is oh, or dashing my uh, balloons so i hate her you know so oh my god you can see that my balloons are going out uh, that's the last expo and there's one more archer tower there and okay i have destroyed the archer tower and my balloons are now out okay you can see that my balloons are out and now i have the electro dragon minions the siege machine in which i have an electro dragon and my two heroes so i have deployed my electro dragon okay i will tell you why i prefer electro dragon than dragon because you can see its ability which with with which it could take on multiple defenses in one attack you can see its electrical ray um uh, change through the obstacles and take out five to six obstacles at a time and you can see that i am using my minions to take out the sideway obstacles so i could lead my uh, electro dragon and the siege machine straight into the town hall i have to destroy the town hall you know that okay now the electro dragon will take out the archer queen that's why the electro dragons i prefer more than dragons they are very reliable they are very dependable than the dragons as they have great hp and great uh, great hp and great damage so i have now il two electro dragons my archer queen is just behind them so i have a great backup I, as i said the troops okay now we have destroyed the town hall and now we are going for the storages i have two electro dragons that's a great thing now my one electro dragon is going to be out now but my archer queen's ability is still on okay now they are going straight away and here the electro dragons are attacking the electrical rays are chaining out and you know that i had a 99 percentage so you will see how that it is so you can see that its ability is very cool i love it so i prefer electro dragon more than dragon so it's finished i my i lost the man lo lost the match by one star okay 900 percent so it's not that bad i got all the loot and so i showed you how to use this uh, strategy in a correct way okay you could see that i will show you the free spell moment <laughs> Where I put my freeze spell, you can see I am slowing down. So you could see that my freeze spell has freezed the one inferno tower and air defense and an um, uh, archer queen. So to clear way to the balloons to attack easily. So I have shown you how to use the lava luna strategy. And so I hope you like the video. If you have any doubts on this video, just let me know at the comment section below. I'll be replying to you at any instant so if you have subscribed my channel here please do it right now and click on the bell icon so you won't be missing any of my upcoming videos don't also don't forget to leave a like so uh, this is alpha Ball signing out so we'll meet at the next time i'll be back with such amazing videos until then good luck bye bye and peace out